Yeah, my name is uh, Soren Peter Andresen, and I'm with uh, Dahlberg Global Development Advisors. It's a consultancy that works on global development issues, including health, but also environmental and economic development. And uh, I have been uh, following Oxford Health Alliance for a couple of years now, uh, probably not quite from the beginning, but almost. Uh, I've not gone to the meeting before, and I've, been, uh, I've really been taken by the energy and perspectives of everyone who came here and is passionate about the issues sort of captured in, in 3450. Um, I think many of you are doing really amazing things uh, around this theme. Um, but I'm still left after the discussions in the last few days with the sense that um, we are at a conference and we leave the conference and not all of us will uh, continue to be involved as actively in, in the work of Oxford Health Alliance for the next year until we meet again. Um, and, and I think, in a sense, I think that's a shame. Um, I, um, I think I would suggest, and that's, I think, my suggestion here, that uh, we follow the cue of, of some conferences that encourage everyone who came and enjoyed being involved and has been involved for a while to make a tangible commitment for the coming period, for the next year, until we meet again to do something that uh, contributes to the work of the Alliance and shows their commitment and, and tries to tie up with other members of the Alliance to do something tangible. Um, my firm last year uh, made a commitment at the Clinton Global Initiative to, um, to help study uh, how, global, how development aid is uh, delivered uh, internationally. And we found that just in the area of health, if certain fairly tangible improvements were made, an additional $2 billion uh, could be delivered in developing countries every year uh, for health-related uh, health causes, not just chronic diseases, but more widely. And $10 billion uh, out of $50 billion uh, uh, development assistance that's being delivered every year could be, could be delivered that is currently being wasted or is significantly delayed. Uh, there are billions of dollars in development assistance just sitting in bank accounts not being delivered. And on behalf of Dahlberg to, to sort of start this sort of range of commitments, I would like to commit uh, that we will, uh, by next year when we all meet again, um, help articulate the business case for companies to be involved in taking action around chronic diseases, particularly with, particularly with a focus on developing countries, uh, and deliver that as our feedback to the Alliance, so to speak. Um, and I would like to encourage everyone here not before you leave in an hour or two, but at some point in the near future, maybe before the end of the year, or before the end of the month, perhaps, to make some sort of commitment that you think this will be my or my organization's contribution to Oxford Health Alliance um, in, the, in the upcoming period. Uh, it could be something very tangible that you're already working on where you tie up with other members. It could be that you take an initiative to share what you're already working on um, in, in a structured way, maybe through the website or some, some other way. Uh, with the other members. It could be some th something completely new. It could be, if you're a corporate member, uh, committing a voluntary membership uh, contribution to help the Alliance expand uh, their activities and be more relevant to all of you. But that's basically my suggestion. <laughs>